Hello everyone, let's talk about discrete random variables and discrete probability distribution. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. I-define muna natin kung ano ba yung tinatawag na discrete random variable. From the word itself, random, yung mga values na pwedeng i- take ng discrete variable na ito ay determined by chance. And from the word itself na discrete, ang mga possible values lang nito ay specific numbers or should I say integers na countable. Ang kabaligtaran nito ay yung continuous random variable. It is a random variable na ang data ay interval between any two given values. So, ibig sabihin pwedeng decimal, pwedeng fraction, and data under this variable ay obtained by measuring. So, may mga instruments para ma-measure ang kanilang value. Unlike kay discrete na purely by counting. So, ano-ano ba yung examples ng discrete random variable? So, meron tayo dito na iba't ibang experiment. Tapos, sa bawat experiment na yan, may outcome. At kung bibilangin natin yung outcome we can arrive with a whole number. So, for example, tossing one coin, meron tayong outcome na pwedeng heads, pwedeng tails. At ang sample space niya ay head, comma, tail na nasa loob ng curly braces. Kapag naman nag-roll ng isang die, ang possible outcome ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, at yun na din yung sample space. For tossing a coin twice, Meron tayong HH or heads, heads, HT or heads, tails, TH or TT. Isa lang yung pwedeng maging outcome out of this sample space. When you play a lottery, you can either win or lose. When you take a test, you can either pass or fail. When you select a worker by sex, it's either male or female. So lahat ng outcome dito ay pwede nating mabilang. So, for example, let's draw a tree diagram to show the sample space of tossing a coin and rolling a dice. For example, yung first experiment natin, which is tossing a coin, we can either arrive with heads or tails. And for rolling a dice, which is our second experiment, for the first outcome na heads, Pwede tayong magkaroon ng 6 possible outcomes kasi merong 6 faces yung isang die. Same goes for the second outcome ng ating coin. Meron tayong 6 possible outcomes din for the dice. So, kukuha ni natin yung sample space niya. Meron tayong heads and 1, heads and 2, heads and 3, heads and 4, heads and 5, heads and 6, followed by tails 1, tails 2, tails 3, tails 4, tails 5, and tails 6. Each of the outcomes should be separated by comma and nasa loob dapat ng curly braces. So, ito yung ating sample space. At itong solution dito, na may mga branches, tinatawag natin itong tree diagram, ginagamit yan para mailista lahat ng possible outcomes at makabuo ng tinatawag natin na sample space. Let's go to the next part, which is discrete probability distribution, or P of X. Ito naman, yung combination ng mga values of x and their corresponding probabilities. Example, in a family na merong dalawang children, let x represent the number of children who will be a boy and determine the probability mass function of x. So, alam naman natin uh, na kung merong dalawang children at yung x, yung tungkol sa number of boys doon sa family na yun, pwede tayong magkaroon ng dalawang boy, isang boy, isang girl, isang girl, isang boy, or dalawang girl. 
So, ito yung first step ng pagkikreate ng discrete probability distribution. You have to know all the possible outcomes. Afterwards, i-apply mo yung x. Again, x represent the number of boys. So, bibilangin natin kung sa bawat outcome, ilan yung boys na nandoon. So, sa first outcome, meron tayong dalawang boy. Sa second, may isa lang. Sa third, may isa lang. At sa fourth outcome, walang boy. Using this data, we can now create the probability mass function or yung tinatawag natin na discrete probability distribution. Again, this is the table that contains all the possible value of x and p of x. So, kung titingnan again natin itong column ng x, ang possible values niya ay 0, 1, and 2. So, yung 0, kung kukuhanin natin ang probability niya, dahil meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, at isa lang naman yung 0, it's 1 out of 4. Next, for 1, meron tayo ditong 2 out of 4. Uh, ang 2 out of 4, kapag ni lowest term, that's 1 half. And finally, ang 2, isa lang yan out of 4 possible outcomes. So, meron tayo ngayong table na ganito yung itsura. Sa paglilista ng probability, pwedeng naka-fraction, pwede rin naka-decimal. Basta dapat, kung naka-fraction, dapat naka-lowest term. Let's answer this question. Determine the probability that at least one child is boy. So, ibig sabihin, probability daw na either one or more than one ay boy. So, ang involved na column natin ay itong second at itong third. So, kuhanin natin yung probability na x equals sa 1 at probability na x equals sa 2. I-add natin sila. We have 1 half plus 1 fourth. Kapag in natin sila, the answer is 3 fourth or 0 0.75. Second example, meron tayong isang die na nirol at ang x naman will represent the number of dots doon sa top part or doon sa top face. Let us construct the probability distribution for x. Again, we have to determine all the possible outcomes which can be summarized using this picture. Once na alam na natin yung outcome, balikan natin kung anong ibig sabihin ng x. x stands for the number of dots. So, sa bawat outcome, bilangin lang natin kung ilan yung dot. Meron tayo ditong 1 dot, tapos 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Itong x values, yan yung magiging first row natin sa probability distribution table. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Five and six. Again, to know its probability, titingnan lang natin kung ilan yung one among all the possible outcomes. So for one, we have one out of six. For two, isa lang naman yung two out of six. Same goes for three, that's one six. For four, one six then ganon din sa five at ganon din sa six. Kasi wala namang naulit dito na outcome. Unique silang lahat. Let's answer this follow-up question. Let's determine the probability that the dots will be between 4 and 6 inclusive. So, ibig sabihin, probability na kasama mismo daw yung 4 plus probability na kasama mismo yung 5 at probability na kasama mismo yung 6. Very important yung underline sa pagitan ng less than symbol na to because they mean na kasama mismo yung 4 at yung 6. Probability ng 4, that's 1, 6. Probability ng 5, that's 1, 6 as well. At ganun din yung probability ng 6. Pag in natin silang lahat, this will be 3 over 6 or 1 half. So, ganyan tayo gumawa ng discrete probability distribution. Again, it will all stem from listing down all the possible outcomes and comparing what x stands for to each of the outcomes.